I cannot even lie to you guys. I am not feeling motivated to clean the playroom. I know I need to, I know it's my job, but today's just one of those days where the motivation escapes me. Look at this place. super motivated today guys so I thought I would make this into a clean with me video so you guys can keep me accountable as you can see this place is a mess my fidgets are even worse so it is time to buckle down and get this place cleaned up I need to put away all the toys I need to organize everything I need to go through my fidgets most of them need to be cleaned so I thought I'd bring you guys along for that as well and we're just gonna get this place spick and span from top to bottom. My daily duties do include, include. My daily duties do include sanitizing, cleaning, and organizing, but today we're gonna go even deeper and we're going to really get this place looking great. I just don't have the motivation to do it. Mm. But something super exciting about this video is it is sponsored. It is sponsored by Hoover. I never thought that the peak of excitement at 30, almost 31 years old would be a sponsorship <laughs> on YouTube by Hoover. But here we are, guys. I'm living the dream. Hoover, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And I hope you guys stay tuned because I will be talking more on that in a little bit. But without further ado... I don't think I can keep pushing this off any longer. Let's get this place cleaned. Let's go guys. Okay guys, this is a hair up type of job and I'm pretty sure I have procrastinated as long as humanly possible. The first step to getting this playroom in order is picking up all the toys. So that is what, I don't know what this stance is. So that is what we will do first. I usually start out the kitchen area because it tends to be the worst. And today is no exception. The kids love this area. So I'm just gonna stop talking and start get to cleaning. People often ask me why we don't teach the kids to clean up after themselves. And honestly, I want grandma's playroom to be a place where families can come and enjoy time together. The anxiety of knowing you have to clean up before you leave, I think kind of hinders the fun. So I have no problem psyching myself up and hyping myself up to clean at the end of a very long day. If that means that the friends, families, and kids that get to come in here get to enjoy their time a little bit more. Sorry I'm backlit right now, it looks a little wonky, but one of my most popular series on TikTok is Hidden Toys, and this kitchen is usually like the mecca of hidden toys, and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like today. Oh my gosh, so much food, and in here, just tons and tons of eggs. Oh my goodness, and then in here, we've got a cutting board, and the washing machine actually looks empty. So let's put all this stuff away, guys. So I have all of these eggs. I've got two different curtains. One of them is shape matching and the other is like numbers. These are from Kids Lane. They are some of my favorite toys. Like look how cute that is. But the problem with this, let me see if I can show you guys is every day is an Easter egg hunt because I have to find all 24 of these. But the kids love them so much. As you can see, they were all being played with. I just don't have the heart to get rid of it. So we have two new ones that Kids Lane sent to me, hashtag not sponsored. And they're like the biggest hit. You guys will have to let me know if you like these types of like casual clean and hang out with me videos it seems like you guys really enjoy any of my fidget videos um but i want to kind of mix up my content a little bit so you guys can maybe get to know me a little bit more uh, rather than just my fidget collection 
So if there's any like specific vlogs or videos you guys want to see, don't ever hesitate to reach out to me on Instagram or down in the comments. I see all of your comments. Even if I can't um, get to every single one of them, I do see every single one of them. And I love these just like hang out, sit and chat videos. I wish I wasn't cleaning, <laughs> but you know, we can hang out, we can chill. I think one of the most difficult places for me to clean is under here because I obviously can't stand up fully. But the kids love hiding stuff back here and uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to get in and out of. They have loved this tower since I bought it. It has been one of the like top favorite things of all the kids. A lot of them pretend that they're slaying dragons or other princesses. And they really love it. So it was definitely worth all that it took. Oh my gosh, don't hit your head, don't hit your head. <laughs> it was definitely worth all that it took to get it here. Whew. Cleaning this place is no joke. And I do this multiple times a day. All right guys, this is when I geek out and really show my true age. I am seriously obsessed with my One Power Blade Plus cordless vacuum from Hoover. I love how lightweight it is because I do have lots of different areas all over the playroom that need to be cleaned. So being able to pick it up and bring it up into the tower or move it over into the baby's area is a lifesaver. Not having a cord is a must because again, I am moving and grooving throughout this entire place and it would be impossible if I had to keep unplugging and replugging it in. I'm also able to use the entire battery for the whole playroom. It does not die on me, which would be a true bummer. But one of the most exciting things about this vacuum is I can change the attachments at the end of it as well. I can't reach back here to vacuum. So this has been a lifesaver because now I just... And I can get all of those nooks and crannies that I previously was unable to reach. And it just makes me feel better knowing that it is now clean. I feel like I've been cleaning for like 20 hours. <laughs> We're not even halfway done. <laughs> oh, it's usually not this bad. My motivation today is just... So you guys, hype me up in the comments. <sighs> Oh gosh, we still have to put all that away too. <laughs> This is like an everyday occurrence, just like random baby dolls Yeet! all over. I feel like it is starting to look pretty good over here. I sanitize all throughout the day, but at the end of the day, I find it easiest to sanitize once everything is in its place. My favorite is seventh generation. It is plant-based, um, again, not sponsored, but call me seventh generation. Have your people call my people. My people's me, so have your people call me. Love it, love it. And I just give everything a really nice spritz down. And then it smells very herbaceous. Very herbaceous. I feel like this video has made it abundantly clear that I'm not a professional cleaner. I am not a professional vlogger. And my um, strengths are not clean with me's. But I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't go there. Every day in the playroom is a mini scavenger hunt. Lots of hidden toys everywhere we go. So now that that area is pretty much clean, we can now focus on the other half. Get 
get down to business and clean this playroom. Luckily, this half of the playroom is a lot easier for me to clean and takes about half of the time. So this side goes super quick. I'm not gonna bore you guys by making you watch me take out the trash and cleaning the bathrooms and scrubbing the floors because I, I don't find it fun to do. So I can't imagine you guys finding it fun to watch but we still have the baby area to clean and then the worst place in the entire playroom, my desk. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna gush about my super dope vacuum, but this is the first time I've been able to vacuum the mats, the carpet, and the tile super easy. I've always had a hard time finding one vacuum that could handle three different types of floors without switching a whole bunch of settings, but let me tell you, this bad boy is it. So now that the playroom has got it going on, let me show you guys the true mess. It's me, I'm the true mess. Hi, my name's Sierra. But for real, let me, <laughs> let me show you guys what's going on. Um, a pile of trash, a pile of fidgets, a bag of broken fidgets, some puzzles, lunch. So don't judge me guys, I know, like I know. I know that it's messy. I know that I'm messy. My mom knows I'm messy. Ask her. My husband knows. Ask him. They're the first ones to tell you that I'm messy. So let's just actually organize and clean this desk area. Most importantly, my fidgets need a lot of uh, tender love and care. I've got a new bin coming in. Um, it's not a bin. I have a new drawer system coming in. It's gonna be twice as big with um, varying sizes of uh, drawers. So all of my fidgets should fit. So if you guys wanna see a video of me reorganizing my fidgets, my new updated fidget collection, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to share all my new fidgets with you. I have recently accumulated a lot more. I did just send out like five packages of fidgets to friends, family, followers, loved ones. You get the idea. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Let's clean. Let's take out the trash. Luckily, cleaning fidgets is pretty easy. I just do a warm bath with some mild soap. I really like Mrs. Meyer's mild soap. And anything that like the kids have played with or that I'm noticing is getting a little dingy, I just put into the warm bath, give it a little scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, and uh, usually they come out looking like new. Some of my fidgets are from the UK, got some pixie sticks on it. Uh, not sure how that happened. So gotta get that all cleaned up, but I find cleaning my fidgets actually very relaxing. Why are some fidgets more fun when they're wet? So now that these have all had a good bath, I'm going to lay them out to dry and then they will be ready to go oh. <laughs> for tomorrow. So all that's left is the top of my desk, which is mostly just papers that need to be like shuffled around, pretending that I'm putting them where they belong and then like mopping the floor. I will vacuum before I mop the floor. So there's just a lot of excitement. Uh. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's pretty much all it takes to clean the playroom. About um, an hour of press, 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 an hour of procrastination, 30 minutes of crying, a dope vacuum, and uh, about 45 minutes of actual work. But seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching me pick up and clean the playroom and organize it for you. If you liked this video, I would like it. If you gave it a thumbs up, if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this or if there's something else you want to see, definitely make sure you let me know down in the comments. And a huge thank you to Hoover for sponsoring this video. Sponsorships are definitely how we keep the playroom up and running, as well as keep cranking up content for you guys. But as always, most importantly, thanks to viewers like you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm playing with specs right now.
<laughs> um, don't forget to wash your hands. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, it's time to take a nap.